Hey everybody. So tell me, are you sick of eating the same thing for lunch all the time? Because you, we can definitely get in a rut. And right off the bat, I'm just going to say I'm not affiliated with this company at all. What I'm about to talk about is Crunch Quinoa Burgers. Crunch is the brand name with a Q, Q-R-U-N-C-H, and it's Quinoa Burgers. Quinoa is one of the largest ingredients in these and it's an ancient grain it's been around for thousands of years and I just, I think I read about this in a magazine or something and I thought yeah I want to try that and the first listed ingredient is millet which is another ancient grain and I had had that before as like a breakfast cereal served hot like you cook it kind of like similar to oatmeal and so I don't know if you're gonna like this or not but if you want to try something different um, I happen to really like these and here's what the box looks like and I found this in the frozen food section at Target they're five dollars a box you get four burgers in the box they come frozen so that's a dollar twenty-five a burger so cheap enough and um, to try to describe the taste to you, it's it's really hard to describe the taste, but it does have sort of a grain taste, I would say. But there's no wheat in these, so if you're one of those people who have um, an allergy to wheat, you don't have to worry about that. And if you don't have an allergy to wheat, they taste really good on a toasted bagel. <laughs> I get the... Um, everything bagels that have like the poppy seeds and the onion and all that and I toast in an everything bagel and then I put one of these in the toaster for two cycles at medium and even though I'm taking it right out of the freezer and putting it in the toaster that works out to be okay and um, let's see I put lettuce or raw spinach leaves and a slice of cheese on there and that's that's how I eat it but I'm sure you could put condiments or whatever you wanted to this is just the plain one but it does come in flavors I haven't tried the flavors yet uh, I really like this one so I don't know if I even want to try the flavored ones but it does come in some different flavors and um, this is a USDA organic product so almost every single ingredient in it is organic I'll tell you what's in it besides the milla and the quinoa and these are all or the word organic is listed in front of every single ingredient on here so here's what's in it organic millet quinoa coconut oil onion carrots broccoli spinach arrowroot starch, apple cider vinegar, psyllium seed powder, sea salt, garlic, and canola oil. And I just didn't want to have to say the word organic a million times, but organic is in front of every single one of these things except for sea salt, because if it's salt from the sea, then it's already organic. You don't have to make it organic or leave anything out. So yeah, this this tastes um, kind of grainy, but not really. It's <laughs> very hard to describe. But I thought, you know, if you were just looking for something different, it might be fun to try. And you know, I'm I'm not a vegetarian, but I like to eat a wide variety of things. And um, I think that's it. Why am I feeling like I'm I'm forgetting something here? Uh, you don't have to put it in the toaster. You could bake it in the oven if you wanted to. Uh, although I don't know why you would want to because putting it in the toaster is so easy. And it's, it's not it's not greasy or anything like that. It's um, It's got a little bit of a dry-ish texture to it. So I don't, like I say, I don't know if uh, you would like it or not but it says crunch redefines the vegetarian burger with this quinoa classic that's delicious nutritious versatile and easy to prepare and if you want to 
check out their website. It's crunchfoods.com and that's Q-R-U-N-C-H foods.com and they do have a Facebook page. So that's it you guys. I just wanted to give you a, a new idea for lunch in case you're bored with the lunch that you've been eating because I like to mix it up and try new things so I thought you might want to too. So that is it you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.